Greetings all, I am Ruger coming to you from the bunker. Today let's talk about I am Ruger's three favorite barter items for an intermediate term disruption of services scenario. If in fact as supply lines are down for the short term or intermediate term, there will be a lot of non-preppers out there both within your circle as well as your community that will be willing and actually need to barter for items. Uh, so number one is going to be a food item, and it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's going to be ramen noodles. Again, once again, a, a very uh, long shelf life, very inexpensive. And in the short term, and even intermediate term, it can uh, help uh, supplement people's nutritional needs. Number two is going to be toilet paper. There have been times in history that uh, toilet paper has been as valuable as gold both during the collapse of the Soviet Union as well as Venezuela today. Uh, those with toilet paper are able to trade it uh, for very valuable things. And number three is gonna be batteries. In an intermediate uh, grill down scenario, people are gonna have a lot of electronics that are gonna be running short on energy, especially the non-preppers. So keeping a good supply of batteries, uh, both for your own needs as well as for those uh, that may be in your circle or community is a good idea. Now as preppers, I know we like our threes and this is Iron Burger's top three barter items. But as preppers, we also like a bonus. And today I'm gonna to give you a bonus. Uh, number four on Iron Burger's list is actually gonna be an Eric Dickerson trading card. Now you say Eric Dickerson trading card is not exactly what you would be thinking as a barter item. But the point here is sometimes novelty items uh, will come in very handy. Uh, certainly precious metals uh, could be a very good barter item, uh, but others, other things that with uh, perceived uh, uh, value also could come into play. So please keep this in mind as you're uh, doing your scenario analysis. And as always, be careful out there.